for today what we gonna do is we will complete with our search part so let's say if we write something here uh, if we write uh, we, we name here so, and then when i click on enter when i press enter it should go to a search page okay so this is the header part so i have to implement that in the header part and after that i have to make a page a uh, search page okay so let's get started so i'm again telling uh first of all i need to like, write anything here and then press enter and when the enter is pressed there will be a function that will be running and then function will basically pass our for uh, this query we will name it as query whatever we for example let's say any movie name let's say even so this is our query yes is anyone saying something or so this is our uh, query so when the uh, function is when we uh, yes Sankush. Yes, before before we start about the search uh, search part, uh, can I share my screen once? Uh, like, uh... okay, 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 sure. Wait, let me give the permission. Yes. Is there any error or something? I thought you dissolved it uh, by yourself. No, no, I, I, I resolved the uh, error. No okay. uh, yeah, actually, here, this part is uh, like, uh, I mean, see my screen, like, this is the problem I'm facing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you go to this part where we where we written this code for the movie details dot JS? Uh, go over like scroll below like below there there is not but when the star part is coming wait wait let me compare it with my code so, text yellow right so you have given the yellow, you have written text yellow, but you have not get uh, written the shade. Which, so which number? Like... In line number 47. Yeah. Because when we which write color? any color, yes. yeah, you can write any shade like 300, 400, 500. Okay, so I didn't give any shade. That yeah, is why you can see that. this shade. Yeah. Yes, yes. When you give any kind, like say give 400 or 300, Anything. Yeah, now you can see icon is also coming. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks. So when they yes. have to when you uh, write any color, you have to give the shade. For black and white, you don't need to give the shade. So there mm. is no shade of black and white, but for uh, other colors, you have to give the shade. Okay. okay and one more thing. We are in, we are importing A N T D uh sorry, a date from A N T D and rating from components. Uh, so here why like Showing, uh, not yeah, that day, uh, look, they go like scroll below. Yeah, that day, if you remember, we uh, we copied this code from Flowbyte. Yes, yes. yes, yeah, I after remember. that, we converted that. Uh, we installed the extension called convert uh, HTML to JSX. And after right, that, right. it converted, and after that, I Gave you other alternate options like and design. That's why if you scroll to the top, oh. if we are okay, okay. So we are uh, like uh, doing another uh, for another method. So that is why it is not yeah. uh, like I like yeah, that. Yeah, it it is just and you can say an uh, other option which you can use. There are many other options. So I just okay. tell you about and design. You can use that also. You can explore that. So that's why we after that I deleted that part. That's why it says that it's not used. Okay. 
over five. Yes. So this is the query. When we uh, when we press enter, the function will run, and it will pass this query from this header to the other page, which is our uh, search page. So first, uh, let's make our search page. Uh, Maybe it will be there. You can make a search page here. And copy this. Just in one minute, let's make a page. Search page is. In the app table, the path of search and then call the search page. Yeah, search page is coming. And now we should go to our header part because the input section is there only right here this is the input section firstly we'll uh, there is no like we can we are not handling any states in this input section that's why we will handle straight here so we'll create a variable called Then the function will set query. Initially, its value is the empty string, and after that, uh, in our input section, we have to give the type. So the type of this input will be text. And after that, the value, the value is query. And after that, if anything is changed, so we have to pass for it also. If I want change, we will run a function. Set query. You dot target dot value. Yeah, it's same in the same thing. And uh, after that, uh, when we when we enter, right now it's going on the same page, but I want to go it on a different page that is our search page. So let's go here. So we already uh, done the navigate. So we'll use that. I'll make a function called handle search. I will write event default so that it doesn't refresh. And uh, I will give a function condition like if query dot print. So if the if the string is empty, then it will then it won't go to other page because uh, the trim will remove all the you know, like empty spaces. So if the string is already empty, that's why it won't go to other page. So we'll write here navigate. I think we have not imported from Jack up to down. So after the enabling, there is a use navigate. We have to call the use navigate. Uh, 
हम लोग फॉलोइंग में जाएंगे तो हम लोग नेविगेट में नेविगेट और देन वो टू आई सर्च Let's see if our navigation. Okay, also we have to call this function. So when this this will call, when our form will be submitted. So there is a drop called form submit. So when we submit the form, the function will call like the handle search. Okay. Let's see if it's work. See, it's going to the other page, and let's say if I, yeah, I am pressing the enter, but it's not going to the other page because my string is empty, and we have handled it using query dot rule. Yeah. Then after that, uh, let's pass the query also. So we will pass the query as a query parameter. I think if we are doing it first time. So for query parameter, uh, we have to write a question mark after that and then give all the name let's say if i want to pass the query and i'll give it a name that is query also enclose this in the tactic so by this way i'll be able to pass my query to the search page let's try it again Yeah, you can see that uh, in our URL, it says search, and after this, it says query that is polar. So, I think we are done for this page. Now we have to go to our search page. Now, in our search page, So the API that we are going to use is, uh, if I go to my user Google. Now in the API section, if you see, there is a search. Yeah, in the search, there is a movies. Once we have to search the movie, so first we have to pass search and then movie. So similarly, we will write here. First of all, we will get our API key. API key was in the pages as well. So this one. And after that, we have to access our, uh, you know, query on this page also. That's how we will able to will be able to search it. So how we can do this? Uh, first, we have to put the use location here as well. So use location. We have to, have to do. After that, call it. And to get the query, uh, what we write is, let's say, forms, query, and then new, we write URL, search params. After that, in this, we write location dot, search then get 
That's how we'll be able to get our query. Let's see. I can show you my query. Let's see if I am getting it. Anyway. Go to the movie or this? Yeah, you can see that we are getting the query successfully. Now, since we have the query, we can uh, use this to in our API and then get, then fetch the list of movies that matches this query. For that, first we have to do is we create a say a use effect. After that, we will pass a dependency array. So, uh, first, what, what we want to do is in the dependency array, we'll write a function to call it. So, if there is query, like if query is present, then we will make such. Movies make a function it's asynchronous because we are fetching an API so that we will try to wait it's a get the axios we are going to import it to axios as well axios work great and after that, we need to pass the URL. So what was that? File, let's see, copy this and paste here. Uh, first, there is search and then movie. So after three, there is search. And then movie. And then API key is as it is. And also we don't need this and we'll write and then the query that we need. That is the query we want to dollar. Now we write uh, Let me see if I'm doing any mistake or not. Maybe let me. Ah, looks good. Ah, uh, yeah, I have, we have not. We have to make the mistake as well. Yes, there's no pick as movies. Now, after if we are like if we are successfully able to get our response, let's see what we get. So go to response. If I check my inspect. Console dot. Okay, that's not running because we have not called the search movies. 
So we can uh, after the if statement inside the if we can call it as an yeah we are getting a response let's see what's inside it there is a data now we need to go on to the response dot data after the data we are we have to go to the events so you can see we'll get a movie which is uh, related to the keyword polar that we searched so I go inside more you can say polar and go another movie you can say polar so there are many movies with the name polar it says polar world so it will search uh, every movie with the keyword polar that's why we are getting these movies so we need to go to the response dot data and dot uh, Response or data dot result. Right? Okay. So what we want to do is we want to set our movies to response dot data dot results. After that, we will successfully able to fetch our movie details. And in the dependency array, uh, we don't want it to run only once this function we want whenever our query changes okay. so we don't want to limit our function to run only once we want this to run whenever our query changes that's why we have to write it in a dependency array now this function will depend on the query whenever it changes it runs now in our page, let's stylize our page in our popular. First we will call our layout. We can write uh, something like, for example, in Google adding, and then search results for query. Uh, also, give the text to be white. I'll give Zim. Let's see. Now you can see it says search result for polar. If I go back and let's say when you can have Dune, search result for Dune. Similarly, we are able to get it. Now I can give it a padding from top. From the Let's see, 40. I want the text to be at center. What let's say to it 28. And move the font to be semi bold. Font letter, then text makes it for a three Excel. Let me make three Excel or simply Excel. Text using. Now after that, we also need to display the movies in our search page. So like we used to do in our popular, let's copy the same part. So this was the heading popular movies. After that, we cop this was the grid part. 
to go from this tip to this part and then stop it. So there we were uh, iterating through our uh, paginated events array. There are array name is movies, so we write movies. And rest anything, I guess, is same. The link is not defined. So we are losing link. That's why. So after your location, link. Let me refresh it. Okay. So now you can see that you are able to get the every movie name Dune. Like whenever the Dune is coming in the keyword, let's search something other. There are many Avengers part. Okay. Our search is uh, running well. So like polar. So we are able to get like we are able to run this but uh, you can see that uh, there is a sometimes the image doesn't fetch or sometimes the movie like in the uh, backend data there is no image so how we can handle such cases is let's go to our uh, that's where we are handling our image right so we have to give a condition Okay, if movie dot poster part, if it's true, then I want this URL to work. Then if it's false, then I, uh, I just copied the URL. It's a placeholder. I got this from internet. So, So you can see if the V like if the movie dot poster part uh, is true, that is if there is a poster part of the movie, then we'll go to then we'll fetch that also. Otherwise, uh, we will get a placeholder image. It says no image. If I, yeah, it's working. Let's see if it changes. Yeah, let's keep it no image whenever a no image and also here also we have to do it on our movie details page and you can see uh, as we copied the same section the link part is also copied and the link is also working when the search result is polar you yeah. click on polar yeah. and then yeah, anyone is saying something? Yeah, Rahul. So we can change it here as well. If I go to movie details, this is our page. In the part where we were getting the image we want the yeah here so we can copy this same part and paste it here as well um, so, so here. now you can see here we are getting the it says no image here. We can customize it uh, in this UI. That's according to us. But right now, the purpose is served and we are able to get the search. So anyone, do anyone have any doubts in this? 
Yes, sir, sir. Like uh, yeah. that, we are not finding any image. Uh, or Poland again. What? Uh, no, no. Go to the output. Oh yeah. Uh, search. Uh, search for Poland again. Or no. Yes. Polar. Yeah, in this no image section, uh, click on that uh, no image. Yes. Uh -huh. Click on yes, it. So you are saying, yeah, right. This one. Here, here uh, polar is coming, and uh, like UI part uh, is not. Uh, okay, okay. That uh, description also, right? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, I guess uh, this for this movie, uh, the description is also not present here. So you can see there okay. are no reviews. I think it's not, not coming for this, this movie. Yes. Uh, I am. I mean, like padding is also not coming for this movie because. Uh, that's because I think my uh, in the UI part, the image is very small. That's why it's messing up. For the like the other images were very large. That's why, yeah, yeah. But let's say if I if I am able to edit this one, yeah, yeah now you can okay. see because the image was very small. That's yes, why yes, yes. Okay. Now, if I in this, there is a movie overview, right? We can similarly, uh right here as well you can give the same let's say if there is movie overview then we can give it let's uh what was the name of the movie let me see if, if it was the fourth one right fourth one then the search page let's try to pin our response Respond the data and of results. It was the fourth one. Oh, zero, one, two, three. It will be the third. Okay, so you can see uh, inside are like the fourth uh, movie and the poster path is null. Overview is like it's an empty string, and uh, backdrop path is also none. So about this movie, there are not much details present, and video is also false. Vote average is also zero, and vote count is also zero. That's why it doesn't it doesn't showing anything. It must be like it must be not any type of famous movie. That's why some movie don't have the full details. So you can handle that according to you uh, in elder null. If it's null, then you can say no details found. Now we can even make the pagination part here as well. Right now we can see there are total of eight, uh, four, eight, twelve, uh, twenty movies showing up, right? So what we did in our popular part. Let me shift this here. Hello. So we can do this. Yes. Yeah. So one more thing we can do, right? Like uh, whenever we are not finding any details about the movie, we are like uh, searching. Okay. So uh, yeah. can 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 we do like uh, that movie, which is not like uh, having any details or having any videos? Okay. Yes. So we can like ignore that ignore that movie also, no? Like, ignore. When whenever we are searching, actually, I'm so sure then, why is the voice yes. is getting cut there in between. I'm not audible. I, yeah, I am asking able, that, yeah, whenever we are searching for any like movie, so whenever we are searching for any movie uh, and yes. uh, any movie we, we don't have any details about that movie, so we can ignore that, right? Like, okay, okay, okay. 
So you want to write. So what we can do is, uh, so in the movie details, where is that? Yeah, in the search page, right? So in the search page, uh, we can uh, when we are uh, iterating through each movies. So we can even write something like we have to give a conditional part here. Yeah. So let's say if it says movie dot poster path is null, so we hmm. give it here like this. So similarly, we have to check because we have to check for each detail. For example, if uh, you are saying we want to ignore, but uh, for what checkpoint we should ignore? It should have zero words, then we should ignore, or it should have uh, like the poster path. Okay. It should. So it's upon you what like what kind of movie you want to know. If it doesn't have any details, then you want to know. That's all. Then like we have to like uh, give a else condition or something like that. Yeah. But we can't because uh, uh, like many movies, many movies have zero force or many movies have like uh, no description. So yeah. we have to you know some... like uh, give every yeah. movie check. Right. Yes. Yeah. So some movies which are released uh, like the latest, like some, let's yeah, let's say if the movie is uh, released latest, so initially it will have zero votes, right? So first, so I think we can't ignore it on the basis right. of zero votes because the new movie yeah. will have the zero, so it will not be able to get. So we have to uh, yeah, checkpoint should like the check should be according to us. Got it, got it. So we, we can't actually ignore it. Uh, like if we can if you want to ignore, then many movies will be getting ignored. Not really. Uh, if you want to ignore, you can give a checkpoint right. Uh, if movie dot overview, that there is no overview present, mm -hmm. then he won't. Then we won't uh, render it. Let's say in our search page, you can when we get this array right. Uh, this array. So using JavaScript functions, you know, we can see like I did through each array, like I did through each element using a JavaScript function. And then let's say if you know how to delete from the JavaScript using filter, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So if movie dot overview is empty, so we will filter that out. So it will basically remove that. And after filtering those, we can display it. So you, you can try that if you are getting any kind of uh, facing any problem then I will help you. You can try that part. Let's say uh, you have to filter on the basis of movie dot overview. If a movie doesn't have any overview then we won't show it here. So we will run a function here like we did in uh, this part. Not this part. Uh, Yeah, we didn't in this in project. So we can create a function here and then write. I think we did somewhere where we called that filter part. I don't know. Where was that? On search page? No. I think that was in the training project. Yeah, you know, in the notes app, we used to delete it up. We deleted our this you can show. Yes, yes, you you have written the notes, yeah. right? Yeah, use we use filter to delete. We use the ID and then in the filter we use the ID to delete. So similarly you can use more a movie hmm. overview. If it's false, then we will delete from the end. Okay. So right now I can do an like the paginating uh, pagination also. So in our where was it? We did it in the popular. So what we did was we need item per page, then current uh, current page. Okay. We'll copy the same thing here. Search part. And total pages is this and this part. So let's say total pages that we need is 
movies dot length so it, earlier also i have written with movies so right now currently there are 20 movies so 20 movies divided by items per page that is we'll get three page like eight eight and four each page will contain eight eight and four similarly we did imagination even and after that what we did was yeah we have to copy this ui part here then our search page where was that after the diff after this diff so movies should link to Now after that, the when the paginated event we call paginated event dot map instead of movies dot map. Let's see if we are getting it from it. Yeah, you can see there are some UI. Uh, we have to give a padding, but I think we give a margin bottom here. So that's due to padding. Okay, no, 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 no. margin y that's why it's green so we can make a parent ui so make a parent div inside that div so let's remove this margin give it margin top And give a background to be using nine fifty and then padding from y is ten. Yeah, now we are able to get six nine hundred. Yeah, now it's working and you have to write here. Okay, it's going to our popular movies, but we don't want that. Then we click on it. Then we get it. Similarly, you can also use this, like the search, or this scroll, scroll trigger. Similarly, you can do it from here as well. You just need to copy paste few lines, and we'll able to get them. So, any doubts, anyone? this so you can experiment it by yourself now make as many changes that you like you can even personalize the ui like if you want something to add you can change your add your own logo or something do so anyone any any doubts in this project And uh, tell me, like, no. if you want, yes, no, just tell me, tell me, like, if you want a one, like, one session on uh, responsive tailwind, like, I will make, like, I will get a UI and then I will make a, a responsive in front of you before going okay, to that, the backend. Yeah, sure, sure, that will be more uh, like, that will be very good. Okay. Uh, one more thing, sir. Uh, till uh, like till now, uh, yes. I don't have any doubt. But uh, in, in, like write the code uh, for two days, and uh, then if I'm like, getting any doubt, I'll I'll ask you. And okay. Now I don't have any doubt. 
but uh, like a little bit confusion is coming because this is my like master react project yeah like some things are new that's why it's maybe you may be confused yeah yeah but uh, like from previous it is like so like right now i am understanding the concepts yeah whatever yeah. I, I i i get i i hope i get used to it. i used to it yeah you will get used to it very easily so you know in uh, this use effect if you are facing something in this uh, in understanding or like, like keeping in mind that we used to write try catch and then so when we write a backend by ourselves and then we call the api bar ourselves then it becomes you know very easy not easy it, you become very used to it calling the api because we make so many api for different uh, endpoints that's why we write this part a lot in almost every way so this will be on your tips in the future and there are some different things like uh, this pagination which uh, is you can say a bit a logical part after that i think ui part is easy it's basically easy there are some things that are new to you yeah. like this location parameters so actually the new concepts comes like every project but sometimes different concepts is used so we keep on learning that's why because there are many things that even i don't know so actually when like when we work on a particular project then only we use some things that's why so the more projects we do the more things we add on the most thing we know about the react okay. so tomorrow i think we'll keep a session on tailwind css i will get a, a ui uh, and i'll make it responsive in front of you okay, so so let's end this class here. If you have any doubt, I can take it uh, in nice. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Yes. Sir, uh, when the backend class will start, sir? Backend class, uh, you can say day after tomorrow. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So do you know uh, the responsiveness in Tailwind CSS? No, sir. I know about the bootstrap, sir. Okay, so, okay, so okay, tomorrow I'll tell about how we do responsive in Tailwind CSS. So you okay, know uh, responsive as in basic CSS. Like yes, sir, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, I know. Then that's great. So Sorry, tomorrow sir? we will... Yeah, I am saying that uh, it's good that, you know, it will be easy for you to do this. Yes, sir. Tomorrow we will keep one session on Tailwind CSS to make it responsive and then day after tomorrow I will start with the backend. Okay, okay sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, like, one more thing I want to like uh, request that before uh, yeah. like, before Telvin CSS and before the backend part, uh, like, then uh, like yes. conduct a session about like uh, uh, if, if like uh, right now I am uh, like uh, completing my code. 